Manifest. 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 Okay, real quick. Yeah. Warm up exercises. Ready? Tip of the tongue, teeth, the lips. Tip of the tongue, teeth of the lips. Match my match my speed. Tip of the tongue, teeth, the lips. Tip of the tongue, teeth, the lips. Tip of the tongue, teeth, the lips. Tip for the lit. <laughs> tip for tit. Tet a tet. I'm asking you go quick. Tet a tet. Tet a tet. Give me some fin. Tet a tet. Welcome to the Shark Size Podcast. Yo, that's so dumb. Nice, nice, nice. You know who it is? It's your boy, R to the O N, aka the Filipino organ donor, aka <laughs> friendly trip advisor. For your friendly neighborhood trip advisor. You know what it is. I'm here. She's queer. <laughs> Get used to it. That's the better. That was good. That was good. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you, you just heard call them. Me Ron. You can just call me Ron. You heard them. Yeah, you, you, you heard know, them. You know what it is. What's up, everyone? What's up, they? <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> oh. to my left you know who it is if you don't know get used to it because i i always mess up this is where it is the music there it is it's the oh, one it's and so only long. it's okay it's the one and the only she goes by one syllable she's a shiesty shoddy which is more than one syllable Ooh, yeah <laughs> right She's um, mm. T Max left vein. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> She's his droopy That's eye. Good. C R U Z Y. Hello. What's up? Oh. It's the actual track. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Copyright. Beep. There it is. I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm chilling. i um, still trying to digest all the information that we talked about. Yeah. For the past how many minutes? It was good, though. Welcome to Podcast 8. Yeah. Number 8. Podcast eight. eight. <laughs> Sorry. Get used to it. <laughs> My lips are a little chapped, you know? I'm a little Yeah. Thirsty. Yeah. I'm a little parched. Yeah, same. Yeah, a little parched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um we brought <laughs> we brought on um Tanusin. Tanushin. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Tanusin. No, you said it right. To new always, <laughs> yeah, I'm just so used to me being a high school Ron and just being. Oh yeah. You know. He called. Phonetic. He, he phonetic. called me by my govy so yeah. many times, but no one knows. Yeah. Yeah, high school kids, they yeah. don't. It's all good. That's who you are, mm-hmm. in the, in our in, the, in our circle. Yes. You know. Yes, but it was it was great chatting mm-hmm. with Nutella skin. Yeah, it was very informative, very insightful. So thank you again for coming on. Um, we're gonna have the. He's gonna send me links. We're gonna mm-hmm. have it in the bio. So if you guys want to help, like, like the quickest way to help, mm-hmm. you know, for you for you to find is um gonna be in the link in the bio to, with the petition yep. for the Canadian government to step in, which definitely gonna sign, definitely gonna share. Hopefully, you do your part too. Yep. So basically, it's the Tamil genocide. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, quick trigger warning. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do mention some heavy stuff. Heavy. So I just wanted to some weight on that. Put some caution before yeah. you watch your yep. podcast or hear it or listen yeah. to it. Yeah. Um you know, it is all very informative, but like like Kay said, it is um a lot of information to dig- digest that. Yeah. Some of you might not want to hear, but you know, I suggest you give it a listen just because it's important what's going on there. Stay informed. Yep. Stay With everything. Woke. Yep. Stay woke. Yep, yep, yep. All right, lift your necks up like we said last week, Tita. And, um, you know, get off your phone, mom. It'll be, it'll be good. Um, we also mentioned that he has a food page, so shout out. Yes. Tanu's yes. tummy. That shit is yummy. Nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. We talked about our love for SmackDown and Raw. WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. just missed the cutoff for the WWF, I remember. Like, WWF? Yeah. World Wrestling Entertainment and then World Wrestling Federation. Oh, for real? Yeah. So oh, like damn. the first year uh, I started watching um, wrestling. That was the year. Oh, WWE, yeah. damn. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. What was yeah. your wrestling name again? Russian Cream. Nice. Um, my move was a uh, sweet kick to the head named sweet. Swish a Sweet. <laughs> Swish a Sweet. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say mine because you could listen to the podcast. Yeah. Ooh. ooh. Yeah. Um, we were also talking about traumatic experiences or mm-hmm. just like fucked up experiences yeah some fears too lots lots lots. because of those traumatic experiences (laughs) yeah Yeah. childhood man that trauma yeah 
or experiences. No, no trauma. Damn, you don't want no trauma. <laughs> yeah, what a track. I love. I used to yeah. love the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Honestly, so it was it was it was a banger. It was a banger. <laughs> sometimes in the shower. Black Eyed Peas is, is it, it's, it's a bep. It's, it's a bep. <laughs> it's a bep. Every time you listen to it. <laughs> yeah, we used to. Okay, real quick tangent. Uh, we first brought a boombox to practice. Uh huh. Grade seven. Yep. See, guy practice. We're in a big ass gym. Yep. No Yo. one else had a speaker. No one else had a CD. I, we we bought we bought Black yeah. Eyed Peas. Yeah. Good times. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> Our new, our new um, little segment. What is it called again? Master Debaters. Da, 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 da. We got topics, and we master debate. Yep. And you see how, uh, you know, the intimidating one gets intimidated because. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, it was a great master debate. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> super. 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 <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> okay yeah. yeah oh small wins we always talk about our small wins and that's about it yeah stay tuned stay tuned Just enjoy the podcast um if you're listening to this on spotify fuck you welcome to the strong ties podcast everybody you know my, my the intro goes yo gangsters what's up guys <laughs> hope everybody's been good um i'm your host all right, to the ON, we got my co-host over here, Cruzy. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got a special guest today, my boy, Nutella Skin, you know? Tanusha. <laughs> <laughs> Tanusha, what's up, bro? How you been? I've been good, man. Living my best COVID life. Should yeah, I get so- headphones? I feel like I'm not part of the, the headphones uh, family Ooh, here. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. No, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. But living my it's- best COVID life. <laughs> these, these don't even work it's all it's all a look <laughs> it's not yeah, even yeah. plugged in yeah. it's not plugged in <laughs> how you been bro like um what, what you been up to during covid are you working or anything just working out man i'm mm-hmm. like uh, the warren buffett of uh, pandemic times i think that everyone started investing. Uh, yeah yeah this. sorry you been investing or do you invest oh no I've, i honestly on on my end i haven't even been doing it um my brother is actually more into it than i am so um he's kind of he's kind of helping me right now too um it's just haven't had the time in on my on, on my end to really get into that uh to dive into it too much it's time man yeah well, i'm hearing excuses right now wise <laughs> words oh my god he's yeah. attacking you I, I, I know he's right he's right yeah now. <laughs> he's right though i'm just trying to try to grow this too this is an investment in itself right like doing what we're doing so 100%. but i definitely i definitely uh, agree that's why um, I appreciate when you post you. I keep up with those things. I keep up with your, what you're posting and everything. Well, that's mine. Everybody got to eat, right? Yeah, man. I, I appreciate that. Like all those posts, like when I see them, I'm like, okay, you just watch what's best. And that's what, that's what I like. That's what I like. Absolutely. And that's why I wanted to like reach out to you because like what I've been seeing on your Instagram and like we haven't really connected in a long time, but like keeping up with you in that way and then, you know, like vice versa, like it's, it's been, it's been cool to see you like grow and see you like mature and be like super super insightful like it's pretty it's really cool following you and stuff i appreciate it man uh yeah. my instagram's all over the place right you got some yeah. political stuff over here you got some uh finance over here you got a bunch of food that i post usually right yeah, so, the food yo the food that's the, damn, yeah, the food page i don't nice. even what <laughs> yeah what out uh tanu's tummy yeah yeah i got you <laughs> plug Holy that plug that what yeah bro um, um what else have you been up to during COVID? Life, man. I, I'm working as well. Um, nice. Well, I work full time, so working on full time and then uh, investing on the side and trying to work out once a week. You know, Damn. so yeah, so I'm really nice. pushing myself. That's good. You, you haven't been working good. from home, right? Uh, once in a while. So uh, in a while? I, work, I work in the field and then I work at home, so it's back and forth. But, nice. Uh, but yeah, man. What do you What do you guys been up to? Well, take it. Take uh. it away. Take it away my god a lot actually i'm still like trying to figure out my artist career i guess but right now i'm just working full-time um not investing on the side because i don't know how to do that shit <laughs> Probably what, what kind of art you make is, is it like music or um it's like photography mainly but i'm also like a mixed media artist Sweet. So yeah. it's a lot of collaging. Um, I also write. I've been making zines. Yeah, some dope stuff. And yeah, I've more like been more comfortable in talking about mental health. 
So I'm trying to be a mental health advocate. Um, just what's your uh, what's your take on uh, Bell? Let's talk. I think this this year there was a lot of back and forth. It used to be this holy grail of of you mm-hmm. know like mental yeah. health, and I feel like a lot of people are pointing out holes in it this year. Oh, 100 percent. It was the same thing last year. Um, I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> it's controversial <laughs> to enough, some, but to each their own. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. But with that, I mean, with, with that said, I feel like if there are controversial topics about it, then I think it's more important for other people to speak up on it, like me. Fair enough. You know, yep. hopping on podcasts, yep. trying to get people educated. Yep. So just spread awareness. That's what it is. Be yeah, more. yeah, yeah. Yeah, what man. are you up to? Um, just been editing, trying to get my guy not coming back from Michigan. That's always what it was been like, just editing, editing, and then trying this new venture with you know with K over here, trying to do that that podcast life, see where it could take yeah. us. You well, know, like it's just a lot of fun. Absolutely, you yeah. guys, look, you guys are having tons of fun. Who does uh all your? Do you do all your um your designs for your merch in house or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. It looks super yeah. retro. I rock with it. Thanks, bro. I just got this hat done. I'm pretty excited about that. I've been wearing it every single yeah, episode. <laughs> Have you launched it yet? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I already launched it, but I'm probably going to do a restock soon. I just told everybody now, but yeah. Michelle, I'm down the yeah. road. I want that color. I want that green one. Yeah, the green one, yeah. There's only one color. color. There's only one color right now, yeah. Oh, is there? Yeah, even, yeah, yeah. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, well, the main reason why I wanted to bring you on to the podcast was just to speak about something that's going on. Um, you know way more about it than me. Um, of course, that's why you're here. But if you would like to um, help us learn more about that topic and educate us about what's going on in Sri Lanka and with your with the with the Tamil Tamil people, I think Tamil Imal. I just saw that you. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Sorry, but so so Sri Lanka is a fairly new name for, mm-hmm. for the island, right? Yeah. But dating back, it, it used to be called Salone. That was one of the more original names. Yeah. But Tamil Elam. So. It's spelled Tamil, but it's pronounced Tamil. So mm-hmm. Tamil Ilam is the original. It's like our indigenous name for the island. So the Tamil people that come from that. So, so Tamil people originate from southern India and uh, Sri Lanka at this point. Um, so people that are not from so- southern India, but the island, we call it Tamil Ilam. It's like an indigenous name meaning the home of the, the Tamils pretty much. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's it's a long story right when i tell yeah. stories that i like to start big pictures so people can understand the background and yeah then I'll narrow it down as to how we got to the point we got to today yeah so pretty much back in the day this is like the early like 1700s 1800s uh the island had two kingdoms even before that i'd say the island had two kingdoms they had the the tamil kingdom and they had the the single east kingdom and they yeah. lived in deep they're doing their own thing right and like most of the world colonization kind of fucked that up right so yeah. Uh, first it was yeah it was the portuguese and, and the dutch they went in and they 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 did their thing you know destroyed old historical buildings tried to assimilate and then they kind of fucked off and then years later in the 1800s the british came mm-hmm. and that's where the story kind of begins so two kingdoms you got the tamil kingdom you got singalese kingdom britain comes in uh the singalese are mostly uh, buddhist and the tamil people are mostly majority uh hindu right so britain comes in they speak english Christianity is what, what they're kind of pushing, right? So they get on the island, they try to assimilate as many people, mm-hmm. pressure the island, but they're controlling it, right? So they've colonized the island at this point. And then fast forward a couple of years, when I say years, I mean decades, fast forward your time, uh, <laughs> the British leave and everyone's like, what, what's happening here? Who's in power, right? Because right after World War II, Britain didn't have the money to sustain all these colonizations that they, like the, the efforts that they put forward, right? So um after they left the island because they didn't have enough money to back it, yeah. the Singhalese ma- majority, um, which was like 70% of the island, there's like a lot of diversity on that island. You have Buddhists, you have Hindus, you have Muslims, you have mm-hmm. Christians because the British coming, right? So yeah. Yeah. Um, it was very, it's a very divor- diverse population there. But when they left, they didn't really set a standard for different ground. So for example, the Tamil people of, of Sri Lanka are Northeast. So the top part, of the, yeah. Of the and then the Singhalese people are uh, southwest, so the majority of it, but they, they, they're 70% of the population, right? So right when they left is when the, the problem started. So, uh, yeah. So you, you can see where it's kind of going, right? Yeah. Usually in the world when there's a majority and a minority, it's uh, 
it, it, it either goes one way. Right? Yeah. Pretty much what happened is uh, they they started push, pushing uh, the Tamil people aside and oppression yeah. started to happen, right? So examples of this would be like burning libraries. Um, really just trying to push you guys out? like push, that's, Pushing that's us out, right? Yeah. You can, you can go into a lot of details. Like I have like dates written down here. So yeah. 1956, they had a Sinhala only act. So pretty much what that act said was this island, the only... Uh, language that you can speak and is going to be, you know, Canada has English and French. Yeah. yeah. It's Singlese only, but the, the Tamil people don't have really a face to this, to this, mm. uh, to this country. If that makes yeah. sense. Right. And then they, they had like anti Tamil pro uh, protests and programs that they had where they burn, like it was bad. They burn like uh, stores down, houses down, killed, raped the whole story. Right. So the 1970s ish, the, the liberation of the Tamil tigers, it was a Tamil group that kind of stood against the majority. Mm-hmm. And then from the 1970s all the way to 2009, uh, there was a civil war in Sri Lanka. And then in 2009, it ended, but a whole lot happened in between. Um, yeah. And that fight for freedom on the island is still being fought today, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a long story with a lot of details, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah. The way that the, the, uh, the war ended was... Mm-hmm. The, the Sri Lankan state government, they told everyone to stay in a certain safe zone, right? So civilians, everyone, everyone that's injured in that safe zone, mm. uh, they called it Muli Vaikul. And uh, right after they put everyone in the safe zone, they bombed the entire zone and 70,000 people got killed in, in 2009. Wow. So, 2009? 70,000 people? 70,000 people just bombed like that and Holy fucked up hard. You know, like the government tells you to go stay somewhere and yeah. you're like, yeah. cool, I'm here, I'm safe, you know, I'm listening to my, my government and they bombed that entire, the, the carpet bombed that entire place, right? What so, the fuck? yeah, right. And it, and it hits close to home because my parents are a direct consequence of that. So the reason yeah. I'm here is because my parents fled that war, right? Yeah. So it hits home and like intergenerational trauma and all that. Like I mm-hmm. was born, I was born in Toronto. I was born yeah. in Park, right? Mm-hmm. So like even then, like hearing stories from my dad, it's, it, it hits close to home and uh, it's still happening today. Like there's still... Uh, burning down like uh, memorials yeah. of the people that died, the civilians that died. They're mm-hmm. still um, like oppression, uh, oppressing in different manners, right? So religion's one of them, right? They 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 take down religious symbols. They put up their new religious symbols, right? Um, and in terms of language education, usually, so when the British left, Tamil education rates were higher in the north, and yeah. so what they did was they made it tougher for Tamil students to get into university, like. For example, if you had a 90 and I'm Tamil and I had an 80, mm-hmm. I'd have to fight, or sorry, other way around. If I had a 90 and I had an 80 or something like that, we'd have to kind of, we'd be at the same level, even though we have a difference in education level. Yeah. yeah. That's messed it's up. Like you're, it's clearly higher. So that's crazy. It's, it's not wow. right? So yeah, yeah. If, you're, if you're seeing me post right now, it's pretty much what happened in 2009. No justice has come to the island. Um, United Nations. Wow. Nothing at all? Happened. Nothing's happened at all? The, the same president... So there was a, they had a, they had a, a law that came in. I have the date written right here. So they had a law that came in in um, 1978, I believe, right? And yeah. it was an anti-terrorism act. So pretty much what the act said was, if you're a terrorist on the island, we can do whatever we want to you, whenever we want to, we can kill you, mm-hmm. and we don't have to show proof. And this was like a, a green uh, pass to the police and uh, to the state army, right? So they ran with it, and then they went to uh the tamil people the tamil civilians and they kill rape kidnap like i'll let you do your research right mm-hmm. um, yeah. your mind can go quite wild but like it was it was really bad and yeah the un wasn't even after the 2009 bombing the un wasn't allowed into sri lanka because the government banned it right so That's yeah the, U, the united nations the peacekeepers of the world weren't allowed yeah. in right so it doesn't even make sense yeah it, it's, tough, it even, it's, tough. it's yeah. definitely a rough topic to uh to discuss right yeah i mean i i um like um for me i definitely wanted to learn more about it just because of the you know what you were like what you were posting and what you were shedding light to because i mean for me i i've come to the point in my life too where i just want to be more aware of things and when i saw that and i, I told kayla about it, i was just like yo like it's Dude, <laughs> it's something we have I, to talk about yeah i haven't even heard of it like ron was the one who actually told me that's the messed up part yeah like, yeah like i've I'm never just saying from a biased view mm-hmm. no yeah 
fact that mainstream media hasn't like given it the coverage makes no sense you know, like if you guys are you guys keeping up with the farmers protest and uh, yeah yeah mm-hmm. so india is supposed to be a democratic country right and uh they've been recently blocking like the protest has been happening for a month or so mm-hmm. so recently they've been blocking all the media coverage in that area and shutting down internet and pretty much all that information in there is not allowed to go out so they can do whatever they want whenever they want and oh, shit. Uh, if indian like if, like the punjabi people if they go and like tweet about it or uh, they're active activists on twitter twitter yeah. block them um, instagram pages are getting shut down that's how much power they have so it's pretty messed up like for example ron you asked me like what uh Tamil Eva meant like yeah indigenous word for homeland instagram yesterday blocked that word from being yeah. holy shit right so, yeah that's what i saw too that's why I, again i was like what's happening right now it's, nuts, that's man. Cool. it's like yeah and if you, you feel you feel guilty right you feel like if i don't talk about this uh you know and this is my people from where i came from and you know i'm a direct consequence of what happened there you feel guilty that you're not speaking about it right for sure. I, I, I mean, same thing with the Philippines. There's an earthquake. A um, couple of my boys, they did the, the little earthquake relief thing. So shout out to them. But um, I definitely know where you're coming from. Bro. And that's why I wanted to like learn more about it. Because at the end of the day, I just want to learn. Like, um, you know, right now, it's uh, I'm not really investing my time in like stocks and like investing my money in that way. But at the same time, just trying to, you know, learn more about the world and at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Investing yeah. so much to be monetary, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's, that's kind of where it's at right now. It's uh, it's a messed up situation, and yeah. uh, like it's it's a small island, right? So it's getting hushed, hushed, right? But uh, it's crazy to think that you know something that started all the way in like the 1800s with yeah. the British, the British kind of colonizing it, and we're in yeah. 2021 now, and we're still facing the consequences of that day, right? Yeah, of yeah. those times, right? Which is which is uh, yeah that's uh it's not definitely it's definitely rough yeah Yeah. um i mean like seeing as i like you're being like like vocal about and everything other than like you you saying you felt guilty about it um i mean what really made you want to like speak out you know what i mean like because some people can support from the sidelines just be quiet right and that's the thing too but like what what, yeah what made you want to speak out because i know you said you were born here but so that makes you a first generation right so growing up, I heard a lot of stories from my dad. Yeah, and they're not they're not your typical fairy stories, you know, <laughs> Snow White and you know mm-hmm. all, all that Disney shit, right? Yeah. Um, when I grew up, my dad told me a story, and pretty much the story was he was a photographer back home, right? Mm-hmm. He did wedding photography, and he was he was known as like the village. They they live in village, not big cities, right? So live in mm-hmm. villages, and everyone knew him. He was a photographer, and. Uh, on his like the farmland that they had, there was like a tower that they had. It was like a larger tower tower that they had on the, on the on the land, and the light was flickering, right? So the army came onto his grounds and said, "Who are you sending signals to?" With that, because oh, the light was flickering. Yeah, yeah, right. They thought it was like Morse code or some shit where the light yeah. was flickering and sending mm-hmm. signals off. And uh, pretty much, told him to get on his knees, and yeah, they told him to get on his knees oh, and put dude. an AK forty seven to his forehead, right? And he told me a story and then he he recognized one of the soldiers and he's like i was taking pictures at your your event the other day and then the soldier's like i remember him let him go damn and, dude uh, he barely made it out yeah right another story my granddad my dad my uh, dad's dad right yeah. uh there was a family from london england visiting uh so tamil people that were visiting back home <laughs> um and it was my granddad and they're on like one have you in the Philippines, they probably have those big vans that you can rent when you're going. And you can yeah, yeah. Go like 15 people in there. So Bring the whole squad. The yeah, whole squad. The whole squad back, right? yeah. Yeah. So he was in one of those, and there was a mine uh, that was planted, and the mine blew up, and he died, right? So, oh, wow. Stories like that, right? And it, it hits home, and uh, very hard. It makes, yeah. you like, oh, dude. it makes you feel like you should do something about it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially, sure. especially if they dealt with that 50 years ago. Yeah. yeah and i have a bigger voice now i have a bigger platform social media has allowed that yeah and it's not even that from like that far like that long ago 50 years ago is not long ago at all in the, in the big picture it's not too long ago. yeah mm-hmm. right. um but you, you I, I shouldn't say i feel guilty to do it because that's the wrong that's, i think that's the wrong word to use yeah uh, i feel like i want to give 
voice to the voiceless, right? 100%. And uh, if I don't cover it and mainstream media doesn't cover it and, mm -hmm. you know, no one really gives a fuck, then yeah, no one's going to do anything about it, right? Until mm -hmm. someone kind of gets up and does something about it, so. I mean, yeah, that, to be honest, that's literally why I keep up with what you're posting. It's just like, it's, it's just nice to know, like, you know, nice to see that and like, just I only follow positive things, you know, positive vibes only. And Yo, but like, like when it comes to you setting light to it, like it, mm -hmm. it makes me it makes me happy in that sense. And everyone has that moral obligation, but mm -hmm. it's just really up to you if you want to preserve that exactly moral obligation. Yeah. So 100 percent. I completely agree. And it's like with my followers, I feel like, you know, you want to let them know. And like, for mm -hmm. example, I, I told you that hashtag. Uh, Tamil Elam that's been blocked by Instagram. So that has been for the past three days where uh, they Spotify even blocked all the songs that Tamil people made from that island. Yeah. No fucking right? so, way. Yeah. Wow. So the Sri Lankan government currently has enough power to block a hashtag off of uh, Instagram. It's like, it's the equivalent of blocking Black Lives Matter. Hashtag yeah. Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. yeah. to a lot of people. Right? That's crazy. And uh yeah, it's, it's that big, right? And uh, Spotify even went and blocked all that music. And it's just like, if you're going to side with the oppressed and yeah. not, and like, you know, the, then you, if, if you're going to side with the uh, with the oppressors and take the voice away from the oppressed, right, then mm -hmm. that's kind of fucked up, right, in my opinion. So, 100%. yeah, so that's kind of where it's been booming right now. And then recently, uh, there's an in, there's a, a university, oh, Internet's kind of interesting, well, yeah. There's a university uh, mm -hmm. in the north where the Tamil people reside called the University of Jaffna, right? And they had a memorial built up, right? It wasn't even a crazy, it's not a statue made of gold. It was just a memorial built by the people for the people to mm -hmm. remember all the people, that, all 70,000 people that died, innocent people that died, right? And the government went and broke that down. Oh, Two weeks God. Ago. So it's like, Jesus. you know, we did all these war crimes. We raped kids. We killed innocent people, right? Today, uh, I read a story about how a 16 year old girl, this is back uh, in the 1990s, was walking her brother home, mm -hmm. uh, year old, and they heard gunshots. So they ran into a shop nearby and soldiers came, dragged the 16 year old girl out, took her to a local, uh, local uh, milk dis uh, distribution center where they distributed milk and uh, gang raped her. Right. And what they used to do back then was they used to take trophy photos. So after they raped the person, they'd like put their uh, cigarettes out on them. Uh, kill that's them fuck. and yeah. the pictures. That's fuck. Right. So the evidence that we have today are yeah, not what to say, but the evidence of all the crimes that were committed by the government mm -hmm. is uh pictures that their very own soldiers took. Yeah. Right. That's and it's not even that long ago, man. It's like it's like eleven years ago. And it's like the world yeah. doesn't know about this, the world's not doing anything about it, right? Yeah. So that's where the frustration comes in and mm -hmm. uh, that's 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 kind of the movement that's happening right now. Yeah, bro, that's 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 crazy. Yeah. You, yeah literally it's like something out of a horror film right for sure no like it makes no sense to me um i don't know i just want to say uh, thank you for the yeah. awareness because yeah i know tamil people i follow them on instagram but i haven't seen a lick of this news so i appreciate you for using your voice yeah man that's i did not know of that yeah, yeah no kill no problem and uh yeah it's you, you, you want to write like there's a lot of people uh, out there that like you know they want to keep their Instagram as like an aesthetic right mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. you know like I only post this cool shit I like only like looking minimalist I look like like I want to care like look like I don't give a fuck kind of thing like aesthetic right mm -hmm. that's great and all but I'm not that right and I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and post something that I think will make a change like even if I make one post or share yeah what's happening about the oppression that's happening on Sri Lanka today and even three people or four people see it, I think that's kind of worth it. Or if they share it, right? Uh, exactly, like, yeah. Like, I post it, four people share it, those four people post it, 16 people see it, right? Uh, yeah. It's just a little right? So that's, that's exactly. Cool. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I wanted to, that's what I wanted to bring you on, right? I wanted to, I thought it was, I thought it was important and clearly it is. So I wanted to share it with whoever's listening to the, to our, our podcast because, yeah. you know, it, it's information that needs to be like learned, needs to be said. Absolutely. And I don't know. Um, I did want to ask, is there a direct way to help right away? Obviously, every, like, everyone needs to do their own research and everything. I'm definitely going to read up on what's going on Absolutely. even further. But is there um, like something you suggest in like, terms of a link to directly help? Or 
One hundred percent. I will send you, yeah. send you a link to a petition. Yeah. Uh, so the only thing that is going to help is, you know, you can sh- you can share to spread awareness, but you can also sign petitions to make change and force uh, the Canadian government to kind of step in. Uh, yeah. Right for the House of Commons to actually take action. So I can definitely send you that link, and you can highlight that link, and hopefully, uh, you know, we get enough people signing that. Perfect. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you guys for the time and uh, for having me on and uh, listening. No worries, bro. Yeah, we appreciate you. Thank you, man. Yeah. It's good seeing you again. Always oh, a pleasure, Kayla. Next time I'm, uh, you know, down some beers at uh, the good old driving range. Hopefully. Let's go golfing, <laughs> man. Let's go golfing. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I did get better. Are you nice? Are you nice at golfing? I'm fucking trash. What do you mean? Okay, so let's get it. <laughs> it's oh, all about man. the fun in the beer. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I want to get good, man. You know, yeah. in the corporate world, golf is a huge thing, and you want to walk in, you know, uh, yeah. balls, hanging, balls hanging, and you want to, yeah, you man. Know, you want to sink them. <laughs> want, to, want, to, want to pull up and be the only brown man that knows how to play golf, right? Yeah, that's a flex in itself, right there. Oh, damn. All right, bro. Um, yeah, send me those links. Um, do you want to give a quick shout out? Where, where can people find you? Your food page, yo, before we go. At Nutella Skin is my uh, Instagram <laughs> handle. So yes, sir. I'm, and I'm, yes, yeah. he is. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> definitely Nutella Skin. Um, and uh, my food page is at Tanu's Tanu. Right. So I post all types of good shit from Toronto's a uh, very multicultural uh, food landscape. Let's say that. Oh yeah, no, man. man. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Some goodies. Hi, right, bro. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tanisha. Always a pleasure, guys. Link up. When COVID's done, we'll grab some drinks. Of course. For and sure. Golf, golf, golf. Golf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Golf. We'll do both at the same time. <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, easy, bro. Easy. Peace out. Valentine, your love is very scary. Oh no, I can never share it. Got me spilling, man. I hate the Ferris. Need a trip. I've never been to Paris. Valentine, I hate your patience. And I'm really sick of waiting. That was a crazy story that Tennyson just gave us. Yeah, that was a lot of needed information. For sure. That was very heavy, but shit, we I had no idea this shit was happening. I had very little, so um, I'm glad that we brought him on. Yeah, thank you again, Tanushin. That was yes. insightful. I'm um, definitely going to keep up with what's going on. I'm um, going to be a little bit more vocal about even like what's going on in the Philippines too. Yeah. You know, president still fucked up too so uh, we'll For definitely real. we'll definitely like on mine i'm gonna try at least to be a little bit more vocal about those things yeah but... and for those watching as well or mm-hmm. listening in mm-hmm. you know you should take the time to like look at the news and see what's actually happening yeah for real listen yeah just listen um I mean, if you really wanted to learn, we, we kind of brought it up in the beginning too when we were talking about investments and everything. If you really wanted to learn, you would learn. You know, yeah. right now my time is invested in different things. Just definitely still want to learn, but at the end of the day, you know, whatever you have time for, you make time for. Whatever yeah. you want time for, you yeah. make time for. Uh, no. There you go. <laughs> new new board layout again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah. First of all, like before we get... Uh, you know, start it again, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just want to mm-hmm. say, please watch us on the YouTube. On the YouTube. The Apple. The Apple. The Deezer. The Tease. With the recent information that we've been given. Not Spotify right now. Don't, you know, yeah, not right them. now. So, you know, Apple, sp- sp- Deezer, and YouTube. <laughs> especially the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> kind of lighten up the mood. <laughs> kind of lighten up the mood, right? I wanted to bring up. Uh, a topic close to us mm-hmm. topic close mm-hmm. to us mm-hmm. you know what i mean <laughs> if you know us this is this is a big thing in our lives smackdown versus raw dun, 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 dun. Yeah. that's why she's dun, very mysterious dun, dun, dun. mistress yeah. <laughs> you fuck off i you forgot know what about I mean? that yo <laughs> so like i i, I was um think like i saw um, an intro to the most recent royal rumble oh my and God. it's filmed in like 4k and oh, looks, they got those cameras yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, really? And it's sick. They're walking in, you know? It looks like a video game, and I'm just like, man, yeah. I used to watch this all the time, and it was Wait, so fake. But Royal is Rumble, it? but is it both WWE, uh, sorry, SmackDown and Raw? Um, I don't even remember. I just saw like the... Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't know they were still though. doing that stuff. Yeah, they do it. 
They oh, do crap. it. And I just told you the other day, Rey Mysterio resign. Yes. He's doing wrestling again. He's on a new contract. What the fuck? He's on a Supermax. <laughs> <laughs> Rey Mysterio. Don't let him hit you with a 619. Oh, my gosh. You guys said yeah. booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> yeah, I still remember. I still yeah, remember. yeah. Okay. That was good times. Yeah. Um, as I, as I also thought about it because I saw a recent post where uh, I think SmackDown, like, remember when 2K used to make SmackDown? They still do. But they have a game, right? Yeah. And it's from like SmackDown 2K6 to like, <laughs> like, uh, maybe 2009. Yeah. And then uh, it was like the best time of SmackDown. And I remember we had I that play. on PS2. Yeah. PS2, right? Yeah. That that was actually fun. My most favorite was TLC. It was a great and game. For those who don't know, it's table, ladder, chair. Yeah. That is so sick. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. that Wait, which game. is the one where there's a suitcase on the top? Um, oh. It's like caged. Yeah, it's a cage match, but fuck, I forgot I what it's know, called. But yo, that, but was, that a was sick. <laughs> that was yeah, sick. yeah. Wow. Oh man, that's so bad. We were watching wrestling as yeah. kids. Do you remember but, when um I went to your, when, when uh, I used to always go to your place? Yeah. And then um my 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 friend uh filmed Armageddon on his on his VHS tape, and I brought it, and I'm like, <laughs> yo, oh my god, Armageddon! We're in your parents' room, just I going remember. crazy. We were just, just on my there. like parents' bed. We were going just... fuck wild, <laughs> <laughs> throwing bows and stuff. Oh my god, yeah, Jesus! Yeah. I don't know if I feel like if you didn't watch wrestling when you were younger, you're weird. Everybody used to watch wrestling. Yeah, everybody. Sure. Honestly, yeah. but to those who didn't, you'd probably be more violent than you are now. So Facts. God bless. Like yo, when when um when Den first came to Canada, that's the first thing we yeah connected I on. know. He's like I know. he went downstairs and he was like, "Yeah, SmackDown vs Raw," and I'm like, "Yeah." He's like. <laughs> Want to play? I'm like, I mean, I got wanna, it. Want to be friends, basically? <laughs> First time I see this guy from the Philippines, you know, just like, I mean, I got it, bro. Let's do it. So bad, dude. Okay, but SmackDown or Raw? I was SmackDown, which is funny because my favorite color is red. But like Rey Mysterio Same. was on SmackDown. Yeah. John Cena. John Cena was also on Raw, though. He was for a bit. Yeah. Raw was like Randy Orton, Triple H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like know? the Raw shit. <laughs> yeah. That's like live shit, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, Raw yeah. was live and SmackDown was apparently filmed for two hours. Damn. But um, SmackDown. 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 Yeah. 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 Remember was... Eddie Guerrero? Yeah, RIP. RIP, boy. Chris Benoit. Short Arms. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you watch the documentary? Too. I did, I did. Damn. Did you? I've watched some of it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty dark. Damn. It's pretty dark. Mm -hmm. He was. He was definitely going through some shit. Oh, 100 percent. R. P. C. B. Ooh, goddamn. Benoit, yo, what, was it, what did he have? I forgot what he had. Um, I know Eddie Guerrero was five star frog splash. What did thing have? Let me just pump it. You pumped really well. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it looks like you practiced as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> All the time, yo. Oh man. God, so Undertaker like Undertaker was sick too. He was smacked out. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Kane was raw. Yeah, the tombstone, yeah. man. See how much of a nerd we are. Tombstone. <laughs> Holy fuck. Really, really was showing people yeah, how, I how know. nerdy we were. I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm so sorry. Yo, wrestling was cool. <laughs> wrestling was cool. Which moves you back to my point, yo. Case so study. If you didn't watch sick. it, you're weird. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> okay, but to those who actually did watch it. What would be your wrestling name? Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't even give this some thought. Yo. I, I saw the note and I was like, ah. You were the one who made the note. <laughs> no, but like, like I, I literally, like when I made it, I was just like, okay. mm, I don't know. What would be yours? What would be yours? I want it to be shysty, but then I thought about it and probably it'd be Big Cruise. Big Cruise. Nice. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I would be. And I don't know what my move would be. <laughs> You gotta think about moves. Yeah, 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 you do. I kind of want to like. Oh man, I was gonna be like, no, nah, that's too much. Mine would be like a kick, like a swift kick to the head, and we call it Swisher Sweets. Swisher Sweets. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Okay, my name would be Russian Cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yo, uh, if you know, you walk know. on, walk on music. <laughs> <laughs> it's Russian cream. <laughs> and I'm just like this. <laughs> Swift kick. I actually don't know what my move would be. I kind of want to just like jump on them. Like big cruise, but it's not. <laughs> you oh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But like, I'm not big. I'm small. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. A, it's a jump. It's like Rey Mysterio almost. You yeah. just like. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your life. And then like you flip them and then exactly. you put them in like the, I don't even know what they're called. 
You're such a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I though? Whatever. Oh shit. Damn. Um, oh my god. I mean, a traumatic experience within wrestling that happened, like with yeah. I used to go to school, right? Oh Every, my god. Everybody used to wrestle. Yeah. Like my my whole grade, like we're all like you know like copying each other. There's a big guy. We called him Big Show. You know, <laughs> and like Big Show. Like I remember, I was like you know we're just wrestling. We were wrestling on ice. I don't know why. And then like I like I fell and I just on on the floor, but like nothing happened. But like you know you're Bro. a kid, you just like, get up. And I'm like, you know, does that mean? Oh my god, long term. <laughs> you know, we still need to find out. Yeah. Oh my god, Jesus. What are we, what are we talking about? Uh, traumatic experiences. <laughs> okay. Dude, <laughs> I I'm actually on point today. Yeah, yeah, you are. You are. That little thing sobered me up earlier. Do you know what my biggest fear is? Clowns. No. Squirrels. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. I don't Sick. even want to even, I don't even want to tell my story. Do you have a big fear? Do you have a fear? Your biggest fear? Do you have a big fear? Do I have like a biggest fear? Does, does I have... that intimidating one have a big fear? <laughs> Rare. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put whiskers. Uh, I got you. You, yeah. you asked me to do the hardest shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll put like a like a ball of energy and make sure it's No no I'm so sorry. You like, said you would do it. Yeah, and, okay, okay, a, a big fear. Um I'm I'm scared of heights, but it's not like deathly. I don't have a deathly fear. Okay. Spiders is like close, but like I'd still stomp on a spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I'm heights. a bad bitch. <laughs> I'm tough. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you hear you here first. She ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> a traumatic experience as a child. It's not funny though. It's the reason why I'm scared of spiders. Uh, it's is? like I think we were camping mm-hmm. one summer. I don't know if you were there. But I was in like Damn. The, it was a long time ago though. Listen, I was in a field and my mom was like, it'll come. And like, I think the grass was up to my shins. And I feel something <laughs> fucking crawling. And I'm like, no, no, I keep walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think about a spider and I look down. And it's a huge fucking spider on my shin. And I'm just like, I just run out the How fucking. How big was it? How big was it? Was it the size of the one on your hand? Is that why you have one? Sorry, oh, on no, 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 no. I wasn't that. Dude, I would die. <laughs> I would die. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah. That's big, That's man. a big spider. No, it was like this. It was like that. If it was below your waist, you would have got me. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's a spiders. good one. Spiders. Scary. Yo, do you... So scary. <laughs> do I have a traumatic experience? Yeah, but yeah. a funny one? Yeah, definitely have one. Mine's about squirrels. Why else would I be afraid of squirrels? <laughs> Oops, I forgot. On some dumb shit. <laughs> what happened? I actually uh, don't know or don't remember. Um... I was at my Lolo's house in the living room area with the chimney. Yeah. With a, oh. On the way to the backyard. Oh, I've heard of this yeah. story. And then like a, a squirrel <laughs> just fell down the chimney. It's like 8 a.m., you know? Like, squirrel's like, fuck, 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 yeah. fuck. And then I'm like, like I was like six, at five, yeah. five. And I'm like, yo. I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. And then the Could you closed. imagine the squirrel? No, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This squirrel's like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I'm looking. I'm yo. I just I got up and I just, <sighs> I just started crying. Was it a gray squirrel, a black squirrel, a brown squirrel, a white squirrel? You know sure. they got. You know they got albino squirrels in Trinity. You would be <laughs> fucking scared, dude. No, you just, yo, you know they got. <laughs> <laughs> they were bro they got albino okay sorry yeah nice so what kind of squirrel was it i don't remember oh no nah, it was damn. great you suppressed that and it was a uh, dust because of the chimney <laughs> nah, it was great it was smoky because of the dust we went to uh montreal remember we were looking at the squirrels yeah and you're like yo i never seen a gray squirrel right that's what you said no they said the there's brown. no no there's n- i've never seen a brown one or something no oh there's none in um, New, New York has different colored squirrels. Oh, yeah. I see, I see them all. I <laughs> seen them all. all. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, but the reason why squirrels are so scary, think about it. They're fast. Yeah. Rabies, too. Small. Okay. But they're fast. Up your pant leg. And then they're here. <laughs> and then they're there. Bro, ew. Yeah. But you, you don't think a hamster could do that? 
I mean, I, mean, I haven't had a ham since I was younger. True. True. Squirrels are like. Even then, like, ham just cheesed me. Like, I did not like them too. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, squirrels, uh, their tails are just like gnarly. Yeah. Super. Yo, you know those ones too? Okay. Like, and then you have like, these experiences, you know? Like, I'm already a, scared of them. Yeah. You know, I'm walking. Oh, man. First year university student. I actually might fuck school up. Like, I might fuck school up. Right, 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 right. Boom. Like, out of nowhere, you know? Like, real At quick. York? At York? Yeah. Squirrel out of the garbage can. <laughs> what are you doing in there? It runs across, like yo. And there's there's times where like I'll be like it's like ten feet away from me. I'll stop. This is at York. It'll stop and it'll look at me, and I'm like, you could cross first. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, like ahead. you know, by all means, go. <laughs> I walk. It walks. I walk. It walks. And it just bolts by. I'm like, what the? Fuck? Uh, you know, like, what, what's these squirrels, yo? Oh, uh, they just don't like you, huh? I mean, if they're faster than me and I'm fast, I don't fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the rule. Geese, geese are fast. You ever fuck? fucking battled a geese i've never battled a geese no but they're scary they hiss yeah Uh, i think i told you this um so i was at yeah and then um you know bleep that out (laughs) i was at i was at a parking (laughs) lot but basically they um there was like a bunch of geese down the field at the soccer field yeah and then nami saw it and she started chasing them so obviously like like she's going, she's yeah, bolting, yeah, and she's yeah. like this she's big. Fast. You know? She's fast. And then the geese start flying away. Like, oh, so they're not gonna attack Nami. They're scared. Yeah, yeah, but sweet. they started bolting towards the, the road. And then you know how it's like it's a big parking lot. Yeah, Nami dude. was at the end of the parking lot. I'm like, no, Nami, no, no, Nami. <laughs> and she wouldn't listen. You know, she was like, bro, like, the birds oh. hypnotized her. Yeah, yeah. She came back. Damn. Because then I, you know, started clapping. Yeah, she, yeah, like yeah. the geese were finally too. Like yo. I literally, like, I was looking at it. I'm like, yo, they're gone. Like, geese they took are off. deadly, man. Yeah. But like, they, the thing is, like, she thought she could really catch them as they were flying away. They're it's already like though. thirty it's feet in the air. It's not me. It makes no sense. She got, she got high hopes. Yeah. That little lady. Yeah, she really does. I feel like that's why she's always scared, yo. Because I feel like she also had a traumatic experience. Oh, she's the run, the run to the litter. You know. Yeah, I wonder what it is. Is there something that, that like will scar you for life, that happened to you when you were younger, other than what you just told us um with the spider honestly no nothing no nah, i'm not scared of ghosts like that oh yeah like, yeah, like yeah. no traumatic experiences like injuries no yeah i'm scared of it's not traumatic but like i get so bummy when i see gravel and i'm like boarding fast oh like yeah 100 percent. okay yeah but i'm but not like, like yeah because like i did fall like really hard like you know, when I was older, Evan, yeah, I was true. Yeah, I fell. <laughs> yeah, learn. I've fallen off trees. I'm still gonna climb trees. It's true. Um, no, hair down. Look, look, look at the hair down. Show, show it off. Show it off. Oops. Fuck. There it is. Oh, nice. There it is. I'm gonna get a mullet. Solid. <laughs> no, That's nothing. Nice. Thank you. Nothing traumatic. I'm a bad bitch. I told you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a sad snitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> break time? I think I'm thinking good for a break. We'll come back and uh, we'll we'll have our new segment. Mm-hmm. Pretty sick segment. <laughs> Wake up. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Oof. Oof. What is the new segment? What is, is the, the new, new segment? segment? <laughs> what is the new segment? Um, It is... I don't know. What should the intro be? Like, yo, a part of me really wanted to make it inappropriate and just take the scene from Superbad, if you know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, damn. Kids watch this. No? Don't kids watch... <laughs> don't kids watch this palmer yeah exactly um i mean it's up to you uh no. i don't have i don't know kids it's called master debaters yeah one little bottle of spermicidal lube uh the edit should be like both of us like super in like a debate yeah and then you uh like photoshop like a tie like you know de- debating it's yeah yeah it should be that okay i'm with it i'm with it yeah i mean i don't want you to edit that i mean if you it's just a good idea thumbnail (laughs) nice okay so um (laughs) yeah the first thing is i mean 
you know, this is only like going to be one of the new segment type of things. Yeah, it's not going to yeah. be going to do this every time because yeah. there's so many topics to master debate about. Yeah. But what is today's <laughs> master debate? The best Spider-Man actor. Actor. Because we agreed that Miles Morales would be the... Would be the top one. Yeah. Everyone already knows that. So yeah, It's not an argument. We're good. <clears throat> nice try. The second <laughs> yep. would be either... No, not either. You say yours. I'll say mine. Woo-woo. Toby Maguire, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be devil's advocate and I'm gonna say Tom Holland. <laughs> That's what it is. Why Tom Holland? Wait, 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 why Tom Holland? Because he is. He looks the age. First of all, in the show, yeah. Toby Maguire doesn't. Look, I mean, he can pass. Oh, he can pass, fuck. right? And then you're probably like, oh, that's a bad argument, and it is. I. He's just I funny, just, like super funny. That's what I. That's oh, what I like. About I agree. Him. I agree. Yeah, but I think. Toby Maguire really like captured the essence of being like a loser. Yeah. But like he's so he's so sus, man. I hate Toby Maguire. Like I don't like him. That's yeah, why he yeah. was so good at Spider Man. Yeah. Like I don't No, I agree. I agree. You know what I mean? Like I don't watch Toby yeah. Maguire movies. What the hell? He has more movies than Spider Man. But at the same time, Tom Holland. <laughs> Avengers. God damn right? it. Could you he, imagine he Toby? He kills that role. He kills that role. Okay, yes, Spider-Man. 100%. But uh yeah, I'm thinking Toby Maguire and Avengers An- would be so weird. Another thing was um they always made Aunt May old and all the other Spider-Mans. And she, why would she be old? It's just Aunt. Fuck. Yeah, she looks like a grandma. Yeah, but then in Aunt May, right? Yeah. That's what you said. And then like Damn it. In the one with like Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, homecoming. That's a yeah. good one. Um, yeah, I just watched that recently. That's why I'm talking about this. Um, okay, okay, yeah. okay. You know, but Tobey Maguire is such uh, a loser. I know. I, I yeah. We're talking. You know, we're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember when he was Venom? Yeah. That was. Yeah. He it was like cool. A, he was still a loser as Venom. Yeah. yeah, his clothes. He has a very weird form, but like, like it's a weird body. It's, a, it's disproportionate. We're not. We're not. Okay, no, no, so, no, we're not. But it's Toby. <laughs> it's Toby Maguire. No one likes Toby Maguire. If you come up in here and tell me you like Toby Maguire, I'm gonna tell you you're lying. This is the real trigger warning. Yeah. <laughs> right. right there, Toby. Yo, Tobe, listen. Yo. I'm a Tom Holland guy, but you did a lot for the for nah, the culture. Man. Nah, he's not. Nah, you know, Toby Maguire reminds me of Eric from that '70s show. Okay, yeah. Like yeah. a weak ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I swear they were in a movie together, weren't they? <laughs> like a weak ass. <laughs> Michael Sarah. No, I uh, like Michael Sarah. Yeah, I like yeah, Michael yeah. Sarah. I apologize. I apologize. Like a Fogel. Like a Fogel. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fogel. Hi. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so clearly, see, this is how it works. Okay, so we master debate about stuff, and then as you can see, Okay, it's on my side now. Tom Holland's the one. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. I don't know. Okay, I'm... S- whatever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I w- you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I want to... I want them to comment who's the actual best Spider-Man. I don't know. Like, I feel like I would rewatch. Oh, sorry. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man's than Tom Holland's. Uh, Wait, Tom Holland? How many does he have? Two. Oh. But he's also in Avengers. True. Um... Does Andrew Garfield get no love right now? Nah, Emma Emma Stone gets more love than Andrew Garfield, right? That's facts. Right. That's facts. She was Gwen though, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gwen. Kristen Dunst. Yeah. Um. In um. In uh. What is it? Uh. Into the Sp- Into the Spider Verse. Okay. Uh, remember when the scene where I don't watch that. Oh. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Basically. I didn't watch the whole Gwen, thing. Gwen is in it, right? Yeah. But she doesn't want to say her actual name because she doesn't oh. want to give away her identity. She's like, I'm Gwanda. <laughs> For real? They did yeah. that? Yeah. That's so funny. And like, there's also another, so like, I love that movie. I watched it at least like eight times, mm-hmm. right? But there's that one part where uh, Miles Morales walks into class late and then he was, uh, teacher's like, oh, Miles, you're late or whatever. And he was like, um, Newton, something of time. I don't even want to get into it. I sound like an idiot right now. But <laughs> he basically just says, um, or are you guys just early? Because like time is irrelevant. Ah, uh, right? trippy. I learned that, yeah. Trippy. Time oh, is you, ir- yeah, so you're like, going through an existential thing huh, with time. Well, okay. <laughs> I just want to know. This I feel like so stupid asking this, but isn't it like weird how we don't remember everything? I know we don't use like... Yeah. 
we weird. i was i was uh listening on uh joe rogan's podcast about the beginning of time oh shit and the big bang oh who's to say that the big bang happened x many years ago because time was just made once civilization was created so weird boom anyways yeah getting a really existential uh this week i'm with it but you should watch that one they were talking about uh just the big bang i forgot who the scientist was okay um very interesting shit yeah joe rogan i don't know yeah. i've never listened to a joe rogan podcast oh other than the God. elon musk one no you gotta listen to actually he has a lot of insightful ones like there was a what was it oh the power of manifestation so nice. like you know what is it what's it laws of attraction and all that shit did he bring someone on to talk about it yeah but yeah. they were talking about this other woman who was also talking about it but that was like an old interview cool but it was very insightful yeah it's basically like to start even by manifesting something you have to be true to yourself and most people are not. Yeah. So if you're trying to manifest something and you're not true to yourself, that real. shit will not work. Huh, huh. Gotta be a real one. <sighs> you manifested things, huh? I've tried to, yes. It happened. Yes. You're a real one. Yes, sir. You already know what it is. Have you? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Has I it manifest worked? every day. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Are you kidding me? You're a real one. It's all from within. Yeah, it is. It's a good feeling when you get it. <laughs> it's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so wow. does anybody know whose laugh that is? Because no one's really mentioned it. So whose laugh is this? <laughs> if you could figure it out. If you could figure it out. What did they get? I don't know. If you could figure it out. That's dope. Damn. <laughs> hey, you know what we didn't do? What was your small win today? My small win? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I always go first. You want to go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, you have, I know you have your small win. Yeah, I had to do it before I forgot. But yeah. I woke up, small win already, and I did just like a quick yoga. Like we did some yoga flows this mm. morning, my partner and I. Nice. Um, yeah. yeah, you should check her out. It's BBT, <laughs> there it certified is. yoga instructor. Oh, she's thirty. She's thirty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. BBT, <laughs> BBTC, bubble tea certified. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Small win for me. Okay. Woke up today and got to work on time. Clap solo brown, clap yeah. solo brown. I stayed up pretty late, you know, editing and stuff, so it's good. Woke you up work hard. Woke up you early. work hard. Yeah. Damn. Um, before we close out, I'm gonna. I already introed with this, but mm. happy birthday to my brothers. This is releasing on the twentieth. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pat twins. And Pal. Twins, and twins. Paolo. Yeah, they're nineteen. Champagne birthday. Damn. Yeah. Legal, but sorry, you can't go to any bars right now. But soon, soon. Soon, soon. Yo, it sucks. They're not gonna know what clubbing is like. Yeah, it's gonna be like a like a like a you know, HBD Earth Strong. <laughs> like mad quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do that too? No. Okay, let's oh. go. Let's go. Let's get it. Energy. Energy. Yeah. Charge up. Energy. Earth Strong. Where can they find you? They can find me at. <laughs> BYBC on Instagram, but you can also find me on Clubhouse if you're on. Um, it's at Cruzy, I believe. Yo, I'm trying to, honestly, yeah, please try to go on Clubhouse. I'm trying to open up some space for some mental health chats just on the side. Nice. Um, just tuning in, opening a room every morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, it's wonderful. But yes, find me there. Nice. Okay. Cruzy out. Um, yeah, same. Uh, you can find me where you find Cruz, creating strong ties. Um, just a reminder, you know, if you really like this stuff, right now we're not asking for much. Just like the video, download like and it, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Put the bells on. Mm -hmm. I'm being pretty consistent with uploads. 8 a.m. Good job. Trying. Time crunch right I now. I see you guys downloading that shit. Yeah. Mm, who is that? Like it.
like it like it a lot <laughs> so yeah creating strong ties instagram i'm actually gonna not use linktree anymore i'm gonna try a new thing solo.to or whatever sick yeah so solo.to. Us, we'll have that by the time this episode's up it's already up cool check it out take it easy peace out bye game recognized game and you looking kind of unfamiliar right now